Welcome back to the PC Engine Files. I'm your host, Mr. Mega Man Fan, and today we're looking at Air Zonk. Although we did look at it before, albeit briefly, when I covered the firmware 1.03 release for Super SD System 3. It was one of the games I showcased when I put the new firmware to its paces, but now we'll take a look at Air Zonk in its own right, which, depending on who you talk to, is or isn't part of the Bonk's Adventure series. I think it's pretty obvious when you look at Zonk. He's like, what if Bonk, but in the future? For me, I have no problem considering part of the Bonk series, and I believe Wikipedia does as well. But to make a long story short, this is a side-scrolling shoot-em-up. It is not an action platformer like the Bonk's Adventure games. This one features your protagonist shooting down a wacky, colorful series of enemies that release power-ups strikingly similar to the ones from the Bonk's Adventure games. Again, I have no problem considering this part of the lineage of Bonk's games when you get the smiley faces and the power-ups that look like meat on a bone. I'm pretty much convinced it's a Bonk game, so you can choose from one of three difficulties Sweet, spicy, or bitter. Obviously, sweet being the least hard, bitter being the most hard. I'll go with sweet since I'm just demonstrating the game here. I'm not trying to challenge myself to play a perfect round or anything. Now, Arizona came along at a time when the Turbo Graphics, which never really did that well in the United States to begin with, was severely in decline. It wasn't long after this that the Turbo Duo came out and Turbo Technologies Incorporated took over and tried to give it one last dying gasp of air and it was not successful and the whole enterprise ultimately folded up. But the Turbo Duo did have one positive side effect, a sequel to Air Zonk called Super Air Zonk that uses the same side-scrolling shoot-em-up flavor along with some new power-ups and some new enemies. So. If they were going out, at least they were going out with a bang, a shoot 'em up bang bang in the form of Arizonk and Super Arizonk, respectively. This was also available on the Wii Virtual Console during the lifespan of the Wii, so you could have gotten either Arizonk or Super Arizonk that way, which would be much cheaper than buying the physical game. I mean, what was it, 800 points for Turbo Graphics games? That's like $8 without tax. And then, of course, you pay $100, $200 for a physical copy. Yeah, paying eight bucks for the Wii Virtual Console version doesn't seem so bad at that point. True, you were paying more for them than NES games on the Virtual Console, but you also knew that they were licensed games and that the original creators of the Zonk series, Bonk series, were getting their due and not getting hosed by bootleg copies. So you could at least feel good about your purchase knowing that you were supporting the original creators of the intellectual property and Hudson Soft by association. You gotta love how over the top this is. I've got a giant missile as my option to shoot alongside me and the boss looked like a cross between a giant boat and a whale and a shark and he was just going all kinds of nuts trying to take me out but on the sweet mode I was not having any problem defeating him and I won't really have any problem until I get a little bit further into this when I get to the next stage where it's like a city landscape and then it gets pretty wacky because you're fighting street lamps and fire trucks and parking meters and all sorts of things getting in your way as you try to traverse your way through the city. Not on foot mind you, still side scrolling, still a shoot 'em up, but you're actually battling objects in the city and objects that turn themselves into enemies and fight you. So, there's a charm and a sense of humor to Arizonk that reflects the inspirations they drew from the Bonk series. It is wacky, it is colorful, it is fun. And that's what I like to do every now and then on the PC Engine files. It's just play something fun and familiar. It doesn't always have to be something super obscure. Speaking of fun, look at this power-up where Air Zonk just went all turbo like Bonk does when he eats a couple of pieces of meat and turns into the red-hot fiery Bonk with the volcano head that just 
barrels his way through everything. Unfortunately, the invincibility doesn't last forever, and I did die a couple of times dodging the bullet fire. It's a little bit of a bullet hell on this boss, but it's still worth it because this is so zany. Zonk, zany, I just now thought of that. Zany plus bonk equals zonk. How did that never occur to me before now? The only real downside I can see to air zonk or super air zonk is the price, but if you can afford it, I would go out of your way to play these games because they're great. And if you can't, well, try doing some emulation. Try playing it some other way, like, for example, the Super SD System 3. Load a ROM onto an emulator or load a ROM onto your micro SD card, and then you can get a good sense of what it's all about and decide for yourself whether or not it's something you'd like to purchase. And you know what? There's even another option, a completely legitimate option. You can get the TurboGrafx-16 Mini or the PC Engine Mini. Both versions have Arizonk loaded in. And at $99.99, or perhaps less by the time you're watching this video, that is a very affordable option compared to the game. For the cost of Arizonk alone, you'll get dozens upon dozens of games, and not just one. And they're all licensed legitimate copies games like alien crush box revenge dungeon explorer newtopia 2 psychosis r type soldier blade super darius superstar soldier ease book one and two so much good stuff that you can play on the turbo graphics mini and all of it at a significant reduction in cost compared to buying all the games physically I'm Mr. Mega Man Fan. As always, thank you for watching the PC Engine Files. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It always helps us out. Recommend it to a friend that helps us grow as well. Like and leave a comment. The engagement is great for our metrics. And above all, I will see you for another episode next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, as well as new content every evening, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central. But for now, I'm going to go play some more of Arizon because this game is just ridiculously fun. I'll see y'all later on.